This is Lee Professor Q at your service. All right, family. You know I try to cover all things AI all day, all the time. In this video, I'm going to break down one of the most common questions I hear out here on these AI streets. Should I be using Microsoft Copilot or Google Gemini? You know what time it is. It's time for instruction. Before we start family, if you end up liking this video and you want to support the channel, hit that like and subscribe button to help me grow the channel and get more AI news and training out there to you. It goes a long ways and I would really appreciate it. Today, we're putting two of the most talked about AI assistants head to head, Microsoft Copilot and Google Gemini. I've tested both across real world tasks and dug into many user reviews. Now, full disclosure, I am paying for both premium services. If you've ever wondered which AI assistant is right for your style, workflow, your team, or your enterprise, this video may be for you. Let's see which one actually delivers. Now, before I go in, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know I'm a dedicated fan and what some might say blurred when it comes to DC and Marvel comic books, as well as their respective cinematic universes. In the DC universe, there is the Justice League, which includes iconic members like Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Green Lantern, The Flash, and others. In the Marvel universe, we have the Avengers, a team compromise of heroes such as Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, the Hulk, Hawkeye, and Black Widow. Both of these teams are powerhouses and you can't go wrong choosing either during a world ending crisis. However, the fandom has its favorites, even though both teams are relatively equal in power. I think people view Microsoft Copilot and Google Gemini in the same light. Let's start with the core DNA of each AI tool. Copilot is Microsoft's productivity engine. It's deeply embedded in Word, Excel, Teams, and Outlook, and many others. It's designed to make your workday faster, cleaner, and more organized. Now, Google, on the other hand, is Google's multimodal powerhouse. It's built to handle text, images, audios, and even video in one conversation. Think of it as your creativity, researcher, and technical analyst all rolled into one. Gemini thrives inside Google's workspace like Docs, Gmail, Drive, Calendar. Now, on the other hand, Copilot is wired into Microsoft 365. Let's talk about both AI tools, productivity versus multimodal focus. Gemini is multimodal. It handles text, images, PDFs, spreadsheets, audio, and video. Now, Copilot is more structured. It's optimized for writing, coding, and productivity inside Microsoft Office applications. Gemini's deep think mode is excellent for complex reasoning. However, Copilot smart mode switches between speed and depth automatically. Before we continue, family, this is to all my K through 12 college and university educators and corporate trainers. Are you ready to supercharge your teaching with AI? I've been in the classroom for over 15 years and Ed Cafe AI is the toolkit I wish I would have had sooner. It helps you create interactive, personalized learning materials in minutes. Whether you're building lesson plans or engaging diverse learners, Ed Cafe makes it seamless, smart, and student-centered. Family, try it out. 
See how AI can elevate your impact. The link's in the description. Let's educate and teach smarter, not harder. Now, let's go in on these tools, ecosystem and customization. Copilot has GPTs and Copilot pages, plus deep integration into Microsoft Graph. Copilot is more structured. It's optimized for writing, coding, and productivity inside Microsoft Office applications. Copilot Smart Mode switches between speed and depth automatically. Now, Gemini has gems, which are custom AI agents that can train for specific tasks. Gemini is multimodal by design. It handles text, images, PDFs, spreadsheets, even audio and video. In summary, uh, if you live in Google's workspace, Gemini feels native. If your org runs on Microsoft 365, Copilot's already in your DNA. Let's discuss both AI assistants task by task performance. Here's how they stacked up based off of my tests. First, let's start out with summarizations. Copilot wins. It's more editorial and specific from my perspective. Next, we have content creation. I'm not going to even lie. This is primarily a split. Gemini storytelling shines. However, Copilot structure is definitely on point. Then we have the category of creative writing. I'll give this one to Gemini. It nails prompt, fidelity, and the narrative arc very easily. Let's go in on coding. For all you developers out there, the Gemini delivers polished UX rich apps. Next, we have image generation. It's not even a contest. Gemini wins again. It's more accurate and dynamic. Gemini Flash 2.5 image is cold blooded. More cold than Cold Stone Chris Jones from the Chiefs. Come on, family. You know I had to get a Chiefs reference in there. Next is file analysis. Copilot summaries are cleaner and more reader ready. Then finally, there is the real time search. I hate to say it. Gemini is faster and better formatted. Let's review both AI tools, custom agents and integration. Copilot taps into custom GPTs and Copilot Studio for multi-agent orchestration. Now, Gemini has gems, custom AI agents for specialized tasks. Both support voice input, both offer mobile apps, and both are evolving fast. Now, that being said, I'm not a developer, but when I can buy Microsoft Power Apps, Copilot Studio, agents are relatively easy to build. Family, <laughs> we gotta talk about the pricing. Copilot Pro is about $20 a month, and Microsoft 365 Copilot is $30 per month per user. Now, Gemini Pro starts at $20 a month. The Ultra goes up to $249.99 for advanced multimodal features. So for individuals, this the entry point is similar, but Gemini Ultra is, is, is a bigger investment for power users. Let's talk real world use cases. Here's where it gets real. If you're a business leader, project manager, product manager, or developer, Copilot is your productivity partner. Copilot excels in business workflows, summarizing meetings, drafting emails, and analyzing Excel data. If you're a content creator, researcher, or marketer, Gemini is your go-to. Gemini is also good for academic research, creative writing, app prototyping, and complex data analysis. So which AI tool wins? It depends on your mission. If you're a researcher, developer, or creator, Gemini is your powerhouse. Now, if you're a business leader, 
product or project manager or an enterprise team co-pilot is your productivity engine. I'm going to be honest, family. I'm compromised. I'm a Microsoft co-pilot brother because I have taught and used so many Microsoft applications extensively over the past couple of decades, and I ain't selling out anytime soon. Now, here's the caveat. If you're like me and you're living at the intersection of tech, governance, and education, it's probably a good idea to use both. That's what I do. Now, let's end on this note. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do. Until the next one, I'm out.